You don't need to spend thousands of dollars to really get enough quality to someone can hear if it's good enough. You know. Also, there's so many resources online that are free that can help you. One of the coolest things I've heard about is this thing called Kickstarter. I don't know if anybody's heard of it, but it basically started off with movies where someone would have a script and <clears throat> people could go on and read the script and if they liked it, they could, there's like kind of like a, each page is like a fundraiser. So people can donate money to help you get your film made. Well, the musicians started using it, like bands. So bands, like I had a friend of mine who had a band, and they sent it to me like two years ago. I'd never heard of this. I barely paid attention. But basically, these people raised, like this one girl raised $77,000 on her own, on this website, to make her album. And all the people that donated money are getting like, you know, free poster, free CD, all these things like that from donating. I'm just telling you that because the, going out into the internet and really researching resources, how to get heard, different plays, there's a band camp, there's like, there's tons of stuff, you can sell your music, there's a thing called um, TuneCore, you can get your music on iTunes for I think it's like 10 cents a song, like meaning like you just pay that to them and you keep 90 cents, like come on, like that's amazing, you don't need a lot of money, you just need to get you a nice laptop, you know, a decent mic, and then maybe, you know, go on Craigslist and find somebody that loves engineering or network in here until you find someone who loves engineering and say, hey man, look, help me out. I mean, use your resources, use your brain, you know what I mean, before you use your talent. Because if you set yourself up like that, you're gonna be fine. Do a couple open mics, whatever, you know, be nice to people, you know, collaborate. Yeah. These are all things that you can do to just keep it moving, you know, and you're yeah. gonna see some progress. And that's exactly what I was going to say. Um, just like to a lot of networking and collaborations. I mean, everybody these days claims to do music as lead. So, you know, like, I've been doing this since I was 15, and I've never once in my life ever paid for studio time. So it's possible, you know. I used to record in his closet, actually, back in the day. So, I mean, you know, there, there are ways, you know. Well, there's a will, there's a way. And use your, use your gifts and your talents as you know your your your, your money you know what I'm saying? barter barter your gifts if you can sing you know a producer might need a demo singer it might not be your song that needs to be sung but if he if he you know if you're the person he calls on every time a record needs to be cut like there's there's i have so many records like where it needs to come and she just loved music so much she just wanted to be in the studio so she would call and ask even though she does write, you know, do you have anything for me to do? And she would come and record, and that turned into, yo, we don't have a part on this part of the song, what do you think it should be? And then she'll write it. Or, you know, it just, use your gifts as your means to get in, because I think, you know, the lack of is the biggest excuse now. You should use that as, as you know, what drives you to do it. You know, there are, if you just go online, the internet is probably the greatest resource to have. And that doesn't cost anything now. You know what I'm saying? So, um, go online, research, go on Craigslist. This is about your personal perspective. And, and I think you do want to go in and, find, and do the work yourself and find out what you like. Yep. Not what anybody, because there's no rules, man. There's no rules. There's tons of things that people have done on accident that have become new sounds, new styles. Half of the things I do are on accident, you know? And that's what I'm saying, like you need to go find find out, make your own mistakes, you know? And don't wait for someone else to tell you this is how to do it, this is how to not. Because you might find yourself in that process.